Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. In this video, I am just south of New Salem, North Dakota, and I am out here with a versatile model 400 Swather. Over my years of traveling the prairies of the United States and Canada, I have come across a lot of versatile Swathers. Most of them, however, are parked in a pasture or a fence row. This is the first one I've actually seen somebody out here using. This was just one of those lucky finds. I was driving down the road between two video stops and I looked over to my side and I saw this thing out running in this pasture field of grass here and I turned around. Was not sure how I was gonna get to this guy to ask him if I could video. So there was a gravel road down to the side. I drove down that and I just waited till he got up close, hopped over a barbed wire fence, went over to talk to the guy. When I got within about 40 feet of the guy, the guy recognized me and said he actually just watched one of my YouTube videos this morning. Of course, my years of working for Versatile as a service rep, they were many, many years out of the Swather market at that point. But like I said, there's a lot of these across the prairie. This company must have just built thousands of these back in the day. So here's a little history on the Versatile Swather. For the best information I can find out, Versatile actually started building Swathers before they were building four-wheel drive tractors. It looks like the Model 103 was the first self-propelled Swather that they had built somewhere in the late 50s or 1960, somewhere in there. Then in 1965, they came out with the Model 400 like you see here. And the best I can tell, Versatile could have built Swathers probably somewhere up to 1988. They later also had a model SP4400 Swather. Some of them had cabs, some were open station like you see here. This one is a three-wheeled one. I've seen others that have two wheels on the back and so on. Back in these days, Versatile used to also build a pull-type Swather. Now, from the best I can find out on the model 400 here, you could get these with a 12-foot, 15-foot, 18, and a 20-foot head. You could also get a 20-foot head that could lay a double swath. Back in this era when these machines were built, a lot of the small grain farmers used to swath their crops, such as wheat, rye, oats, barley, canola, stuff like that. Hybrids have changed and a lot of people now direct cut with their combine. But back in these days, like I said, a lot of people were swathing their grains, letting it lay on the ground and dry out, and then they were coming through with their combine with a pickup header. Now, depending on the crops in the region, there are still some farmers that do swath their grain crops, but there are a few guys, depending on what kind of hay they're growing, if they don't need to condition it, can still come out here with a swather, just like you see here, lay it on the ground, let it dry, and bale it days later. So right before I found this guy, I was filming a Vermeer self-propelled round baler. I already posted that video just a few days ago, and I was going to another one, and my GPS gave me a couple routes I could go. One of them was I could have jumped on the interstate, but I decided to not take the interstate and just take gravel roads. This was filmed on a Saturday. I had nothing else going on here, and I come across a lot of unique things sometimes when I take an alternate route like this right here. So I definitely want to give this farmer a big shout out and a thank you for letting me out here today to film this and make this YouTube video. So with that said, now would be a great time to just go down there in the corner and hit that like button.
gonna wrap up this video. The farmer did tell me that the model you see here is a 1979 model, but you know the drill. Please go down there, hit that like button, feel free to comment below, and if you're new to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you would go down there and hit subscribe. Also, if you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also follow me along on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at FarmHandMike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.